Hey guys, um, this is going to be a Saiga conversion, complete conversion, full conversion from uh, rear to forward, everything. I'm going to bring it back to life the way it should be. Uh, it's going to be a few episodes uh, long, only because it's going to be a lot of work and I, I don't have time to do it all. But this is one of my personal guns actually that I've been meaning to get done. The only thing I'm not going to do on this gun now would be installing a bullet guide. Um, I'm just going to run the Saiga mags. Um, I have like three, two or three somewhere. Um, but I'm going to record as I go through this whole process. And that way you guys can see the Saiga conversion. Unfired. I'm yet to fire this gun. It's clear. Um, yeah. It's going to be pretty legit. So, all right, cool. Well, battery's about to die, so let's get started. If I can set this camera somewhere. Clear that it's uh, empty. Look at this. Nice. Has two screws up top to take this rear stock off, and then it has one on the bottom. I'll go over all that with you. Now, what I really want to do, I still cannot make up my mind on what I want to do, particularly on this gun, is do I want to convert it into a side folder, which I think would be badass. Should I go fix stock or under folder? Um, I don't know yet. I guess you guys can leave it in the comments what you guys think uh, I should do just because I have I have all those things already in multiple configurations. Now it's not a Saiga. It's my first uh, Saiga in Sun 6 2. I have I have a 12 gauge Saiga. I need to convert. That one's going to be a side folder for sure. So here's the uh, here's that third screw right there. Um, that Saiga this right here so it's clear <sighs> this one gonna side folder conversion I'm gonna buy the gas block front side combo and cut this bad boy down rethread it Suppress it. I'm gonna try to suppress it. Run a suppressor on this bad mofo. <laughs> yeah, that's a good it. But next time, right, let's get back to work before this shit dies. So, screw right here, and then to take this foregrip off, 
you have to take this screw off and I believe this one here and then I won't be able to get to the rust but basically we have to demail the gun so we're gonna have to remove these rivets this one and this one right there remove this whole back plate start welding all those holes remove all the barrel components install new ones and um yeah so let's go So, if any of you guys weld, let me know. I got a guy who I go to all the time. I don't know how to weld, but I'd be interested in learning. Only because as much as I like helping other people and paying them to get my stuff done, I kind of feel like I should, as a man, I should know how to weld, I guess you can say. I don't know. Maybe because my father made me always, or always told me that I should do everything myself kind of stayed um, because I constantly just want to get everything done myself <sighs> so if anyone's out there watching this video feel like teaching me let me know um, so I'd be down to learn maybe I can teach you how to make a gun Stock's gone. Junk. All right. So now I'm going to take this screw off. All right. I remove this screw, and then this one, and then this should fall off, and then we'll be able to punch these off. So. Oh, I lied. You don't have to take that swivel off. Cool. Like I said, this is my first Saiga, so wasn't sure. Damn. I think Ivan was mad. Didn't care. <laughs> no, I think that's standard, honestly. I don't know. Sweet. Um, let's do this. It's a lot easier than I thought. Or so it seems so far because I guess I should have said that. I always run into issues. And although we overcome them here and there, and you learn from them. They're just annoying, you know? Fuck, that hurt. Alright, so this bad boy. Alright, I'm gonna let it soak. I'll be right back. Turn it off, turn the camera off, that way I don't kill the uh, remaining part of the, of the battery. Let me go ahead. Sweet, so we should be back in business. Let me go ahead and grab the correct punch I need. So it's going to be a uh, one eight. 
Now this is gonna be a little hard trying to I kind of started this one. I, I got impatient. Anyways, I'm sure you guys know how to punch these out. I, I don't have anyone to help me film as I do this. So let me get this done. I'll show you guys. I'll be right back. All right, here I am back. Cut them off. They're out. They were annoying to get out. This one was the worst, but it doesn't matter. I'm not using these. So if you guys want them, let me know. Send me a message or something. Um, so now I have to remove the uh, gas tube, gas block, front sight, and then find the appropriate ones that I'm going to need. And which I'm what is it, the AK-103? Yeah, AK-103. To fit this, let's go ahead and remove all the internals before this thing dies. And then I, well, thinking about it, can I? Yeah, I should be able to remove some of the internals. Still, these are rivets right here. You gotta remove these. I remove these and like I said it's these two that come out this side and you have this rivet this rivet and this rivet and the whole thing comes off this rivet this rivet this rivet this rivet um, all right let's do this let's take care of the front first so If you guys uh, didn't know this, it took me a while to figure it out just because I was messing with it. There's a tab right here to where, I'm sorry, I can use this as leverage to pull this up. Roger. Boom. Look at that. Comes off. Easy. So, let's take this off. I'll be right back. All right, you guys are going to hate me. I totally forgot to show the front sight base get removed. Um, if you see my video on the 16-inch um, Yugoslavian M72 uh, depopulation, uh, I'll show you how I did it right now, but I just removed this one. I'm in the process of removing the gas block. So I got all squared away. You should hear a lot, a loud crank or, you know, pop. Um, and then you'll see, you'll see it moving. There you go. America told you. Fucker. There you go. There you go. All right. This is so fucking hard doing it by Just doing it by yourself. All right, see, so now we're in business. Front end's done. I have to um, create a channel, mill channel out here. Here, hold on. What we're gonna have to do is create a channel to come back here just a little bit, and then we should be able to be to be able to run gas on it. And I apologize if the GoPro dies as I speak because I've been using it all morning. So let me rush over here. By the way, you can test 
if this is gonna fit or if you're gonna I mean you can always measure it but since it's gonna die I don't want to show you guys my uh, calibers but see how it doesn't even f oh yeah there you go see so we're good so all I got to do is find the furniture I'm gonna use and then make my indentation start you know cutting the slot for the furniture so we are good to go I will show you guys the rest uh, some other time next week and more than likely when I'm free again so thanks for watching guys